Hi, Gemini. It's L here to do uh, maybe, you know, present energy for the Gemini, okay? Uh, we have love and then we have career and finance. All right, so let's jump into it so it's not too long. So at the bottom of the deck for love, we have the star card. So we know that that's the Aquarius card. Talks about healing, restoration, being on the right path, being a star, getting recognition, um, public recognition, um, a, a very attractive energy, um, healing from what may have been turbulent or unexpected. Uh, could be dealing with an Aquarius person. So let's jump into love. Ten of fire. King of fire. Queen of fire. Three of earth. Alright, this fell out of the deck in the reverse. So we have two counterparts and they sit next to each other the only difference with the king of fire and the queen of fire of course the queen of fire is concerned about uh the pursuit of growing something uh her heart's desire what she's passionate about what drives her on um a fiery level what ignites her her fire her her passion her flame her zest for um she, she may get uh, lots of attention um, she's charismatic outgoing funny smart uh, she could be the entrepreneur um, it looks like the Gemini either it may have been a situation where things got a little unexpected uh, a little turbulent hot and heavy it was too much for someone to to care to carry um, this is a situation where someone feels as if the, the growth of it said situation has peaked the ten of fire so I either release and I start to recreate threes talk about creation or I release and I release and I and I heal from a situation that just can't or won't go any further uh, the king of fire rest in his knowing that he makes good decisions he can organize the people he's a good delegator uh he has the idea he goes after the idea um he's not busy with the the doing as the queen of fire is uh the king of fire is more so concerned about the next endeavor uh i see it i like it i want it you know um this is a situation in love for the Gemini where they have to you have to know what you want and what you're creating and what you're partnering to it may always be an uphill battle it may always be a situation of of quest and doing and in the missed opportunity to to ground the energy with the four of of earth or the four of pentacles and have a real stable relationship
This is also a person wanting to be recognized for the energy, effort, money, time expended into this relationship. We're going to clarify at my website to see what this ten of fire is about. Will there be a reconnection? Or a rebuilding? It's also about rebuilding. Something that's peaked and it's like, what are we doing? Are we going to... Because the relationship is always about recreation. Recreating the energy. And, you know, you've been together so long that you know each other, you know, backwards and forwards. Now, what do we do? What's the next level? Or do we just release it all together? Because we've gone as far as we can go with each other. And, and I could really care less. You know, what are you doing? Um, also, there may have been an ending and somebody's healing. Someone needs to heal. Or someone, or want, someone wants restoration here, wants to rebuild. Okay, for career and finance, we have the Seven of Spades. Seven of Spades in the playing cards deck talks about loss of burden to carry. Wow, that kind of ties into love too. Uh, loss of friendship. Um, somebody's laying down the proverbial burden. And the Seven of Spades talks about the loss of burden to carry. Uh, but this is in career and finance. So let's see what we're dealing with. Ace of Hearts, King of Diamonds, Three of Clubs, and the Queen. Wow. Okay. <laughs> So this is definitely partnership, okay? For some of my Gemini, Gemini's out there, this is either you're either married or you're, you're in a long-standing commitment. This is either you're going to find your way back to each other or you're going to release and we do have someone who may be maybe in secret this is your energy Gemini who may be planning the loss of, of this burden to carry maybe planning how to release the burden um, release the friendship Maybe because there's new love, new friendship here. There's something that fulfills you on an emotional and soul level. A spiritual level. Okay, I'm going over time. Um, also, it, this may be a situation in career and finance where... Someone was is or is somebody travels for work. Someone is married to the the job or the idea that the job holds a lot of stability, but they're also wanting to create something on their own. They're doing the legwork in regards to maybe more independent work and. The cards say plan. Your plans need revision. For a lot of you, your career of finances is tied to who you are choosing to walk away from or walk back toward or who you're choosing to partner with in love. This is a situation where a Gemini has commingled so heavily um, their life with another person. I mean, in every facet to where there is, um, there'll need to be an undoing if you guys choose to. There'll have to be an undoing of so many different things in, in the relationship before there could be, you know, just a cut and dry I'm done with you 
opposition is here. Opposition is here in regards to the Gemini's career in finance. Um, the King of Diamond and the Queen of Diamond. Once again, there's a situation where somebody is resting heavily and knowing. And knowing that the money is in the bank. That I've done work for years. I don't need to do anything. I am good. I am great. Um, there, and then there's someone who wants to... There's someone heavily reliant on on either you, Gemini, or 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 vice versa. You're relying on them in regards to finances. But both of you are concerned with how this looks if you do separate. How this looks financially if you do separate. If you do choose to separate. Somebody's found new love either for self or somewhere else. We're going to clarify over at my website. Uh, so it's like, okay, I know I'm done with this situation, but how does this look in regards to me getting out of it? How, how does it look um, monetarily, financially? Like, I'm not trying to pay this person all this alimony or or this person feels like they deserve this or that you know so we're going to clarify at the website i think the your last reading was something like this too like somebody has commingled intertwined so many different things here um legal issues here legalities like what are we building towards? And I don't know. So anyhow, Gemini, if this resonates with you, go over to the website. Go ahead, click the link below. Get the extended read. And let's see what this is all about. Um, will this be a rekindling of the energy or the rebuilding? Or is this a release? Uh, and we'll see what it looks like for you financially. Because a lot of you are concerned about that too. Alright, so thank you Gemini for tuning in. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care.